Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and this is a love reading for the sign of Aries. We have Merry Motive is an overall energy spirit is bringing in one of the messages. Okay, so it looks like you're going to have a really great week. A hop. Happy holiday season. I like this. Endless possibilities. Aries, what is going on? That is such a beautiful new energy coming into your readings. An awakening genius. Oh, well, you have a powerhouse. We have beautiful uncaging that flipped over when I was shuffling and feeling the world. Big changes, Aries. Your astrology is also changing radically in the next two years, so stay tuned for those readings. I also have a holiday special that I posted in the comments below if you're interested. 25% off of a telephone reading. All right, so Aries, Aries, let's look and see the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. How is that? That's beautiful. Okay, so let's look and see. In the recent past between you and your beloved, the High Priestess. The High Priestess is, is Cancerian energy. It's absolutely the desire to quiet the mind, to be in a spiritual place, to use your wisdom, to achieve a much higher level of love in its purest form. The High Priestess energy is very nurturing energy. It's like the the hen nurturing an egg and it's a very powerful love energy very important because it speaks to the fact that both of you are trying to bring your best selves to the table of love we have the current energy between you and your person is the three of pentacles great a card of collaboration a card that says that you know you want to create something that's capricorn energy it's being very serious being but also joyful threes are the number of the trinity it's so much about feeling grounded in the relationship like you have potential this relationship has has a lot of power in it that's a card that says you know makes one person look at the other one morning and say hey what do you think of you know painting the guest room or painting a nursery or you know where are we going to go on vacation it's that kind of planning energy the way your person is feeling about the relationship, beautiful energy, the Four of Pentacles. When we look at this Four of Pentacles, we see a lot of gold energy here. It's earth sign energy, but your person really values you and they do not want to let you go. They're in this energy of seeing how valuable you are to them. And right now, they may be holding on a little bit tightly to you, feeling almost a, a sense of insecurity about the relationship it's also holding back a little bit but it really is an investment fours are the number of stability so your person is being very careful about what they do and what they say and we always like to see a progression from a three to a four fours are against stability how do they view you Aries the ten of swords so they view you as someone that they've wounded very badly. They view you as someone who, you know, they place ten swords in your back, and now they're trying to find this groundedness. The Ten of Swords is uh, a card that really indicates that sharp words have really hurt the relationship and it is a powerful energy in that thank heavens the worst is over so we're going to clarify everything as we always do the energy that of the sun is how they feel in their heart space that is the happiest card in the deck and look at we get this beautiful yellow energy between being grounded and also bringing this happiness this joy they know that you are their person Aries, this is very, this is one of the best readings I've seen unfold for you in a long time. Seven of Cups, how they view the situation going forward. They feel as though they've made the wrong choice uh, in the past. Your person is, 
you know, with the moon card, there's so much richness, so much beauty, so much emotion that they bring to the table. I feel as though your person is someone who doesn't know how to navigate the waters of relationship very well. I feel as though they don't handle conflict very well. And when there is conflict, they, you know, they just they make the wrong choice about how they handle it. So I feel as though for many of you, that's been an ongoing problem. But when we look at the energy between the two of you, this is an incredible, you know, beautiful uncaging of the heart. And we see their heart opening up maybe more than it's ever been open in their lives. You know, a merry motive here, just trying to be happy. The This is the happiest card. And we see the butterflies of transition. So we see some Scorpio energy right here with the butterflies. You know, when we look at this person, they see you as the only person with whom they have endless possibilities. And they're understanding you at a deeper level with this awakening genius. In the energy that's hidden between the two of you, we have the Nine of Wands, two people who have fire in their belly, two people who are exhausted from the battle. We see, again, the butterfly very much here, this transformation card just being very, very much what both of you want, this very bright light lighting up the dark night. Uh, it's very important energy. You have fire in your belly. This is a warrior who is will fight to the end to have this wonderful new beginning with that Ace of Cups. Spirit's recommendation or advice, Three of Cups, have fun, be best friends, talk, you know, share, understand that within the happiness and the passion, uh, it's just a pure joyfulness and you should celebrate life with each other make um you know make a celebration out of dinner the small things in life are really what matters with the three of cups energy the three of cups also is the energy of the best friends like you know when you have your best friends at your wedding the three of cups represents that joyful celebration and you know as a follow-up to that ace of cups your outcome oh gorgeous reading oh my god okay so we have the ace of pentacles is your outcome now a lot of readers don't read cards like this but the classic meaning of the ace of pentacles with the three of cups is an engagement absolutely this is the offer this is the ring the three of cups is a celebration it's the actual marriage ceremony and the people that you celebrate with that are closest to you. Again, a lot of butterflies here. The Ace of Coins is a big offer. It's a major offer. And that's what you're offering. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles are powerhouse. It's a powerhouse of love. Let's look and see why we have the High Priestess here. Why is a high priestess here? I'm going to use a different deck. Why is a high priestess here for you in terms of your overall energy in the recent past? Nine of Cups. Great happiness has be, been bestowed in this relationship. Both of you absolutely love to laugh. You like to drink. You like to have fun. You can be out with other people. The two of you sort of are the life of the party when things are going well between the two of you. It is a card of having everyone see you as a couple. It's a very much a card of community that when times are good, they're very good. We get the Three of Pentacles, the Moon card. There was a period of time that I'm getting here in which you doubted the relationship. You were very worried about it, that you feel very sort of like, will this last? Is this energy going to hold? the Eight of Cups. There has been some sort of walking away with from doubting the relationship. You've gained clarity here. We see the two of you have had sharp words. We When we get the Knight of the Movement of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. So there have been words that have passed between the two of you. But now we see the Earth Mother energy again. Taurus, 
natural feminine energy really taking the leadership role here. So for the feminines who are the Aries with the Ten Swords on the back, you have absolutely uh, taken a very peaceful path in this love relationship. The Four of Pentacles is here, Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is what you are both seeking at this time. Your person is holding on to your honesty, to your integrity, your ability to come forward with this beautiful nurturing energy that is Taurus energy with the Wheel of Fortune. So your person is holding back on telling you something for just the right moment. The Wheel of Fortune is always about, you know, luck turns in your favor. The Innocence of Cups, we do, uh, there's been an ongoing energy that there is a child for many of you, if you if you are have adult children or even younger children, that a child has come into play in the relationship. Your person wants an absolutely new beginning with you, Aries. We see your person is on the precipice or holding back for now, but it looks like your person may be offering a ring and a, a request for a deep level commitment. Now, I do know people personally, and I know a number of them, who have an engagement ring and they live happily ever after for 20 years, 30 years, and I've seen it personally. So that can also be the case. But in each case, it's been the feminine who has not tied the knot. But the masculine has presented the ring and there has been a marriage-like relationship. So however it resonates with each of you, we have a new way of living these days. Let's see what the energy is here of the Nine of Wands. Oh, excuse me, the Ten of Swords, the Strength card. The Strength card speaks to the fact, Aries, that your person sees you as a very strong person, that even though you felt betrayed by your lover, and your lover knows that, that you did feel betrayed by them, that no matter what, you had the strength, you had the fire in your belly, you had the uh, intelligence, the nurturance, and the energy to stay, stay strong in the relationship. The Nine of Wands, they see you also as being a powerhouse and really pushing your way through any negativity that could have occurred. Again, I do think that there is an issue that has made the two of you struggle. The Three of Cups, again, they see you as their best friend, Aries. This person just adores you, they love you. They're opening their heart to you. I don't think your person in the heart chakra has ever had this kind of love before. I feel as though they have, you know, had relationships before, but they, here you are in your reading. <laughs> so you have Leo energy. You have Leo energy here. And now you have, there you are, Aries. There you are. You're the fiery queen. The Queen of Wands, they just see you as nobody is better than you. You're passionate, you're sexy, you're smart, you're a very powerful creator, you have talent and a million different things. So we see the Two of Coins. So they are juggling. What are they juggling? So we have the Two, the Three, the Four. So what is it that they're juggling in their heart space? Ah, the Three of Swords. They are worried that you may care for somebody else that you know you may be uh, not so willing to have them as they are to have you the ten of swords speaks to the fact that you probably feel that they've said or done something in the past but here we have the world card the universe card so your person wants to move to the next level they definitely when i get the three of swords and the two of coins many of you that have been following me for a period of time that has been a family member in the past readings and the universe says that you're closing out the cycle because i'm not getting other cards of uh, betrayal i'm just getting a situation in which there have been words that have been said now let's we're, we're going to do a little mini sidebar reading as many of you know i do that and i will do that with the heart of the fairy oracle so we're going to find out about that three of swords why you're letting that go because you're very aware of the energy aries this is not something for which you are unaware there's nothing really secretive about the energy of you feeling as though you had to struggle 
in your partnership with your person. But again, I do not feel it was romantic, and I haven't. Six of Wands energy. Look at that energy. Six of Wands, your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, as we like to say. It's all about overcoming the odds, overcoming the obstacles. Your person doesn't feel like they have a strong foundation in love. They feel as though they've had a lot of bad luck in love and that they're trying to put it together as to why that would be the case. We have the Hermit card too. Your person has gone within to search for answers and they do not want to be in the energy that they have brought to the table. In some way, they have really, they feel as though they've done some things that could have easily ended your relationship. But again, we see this desire for transformation. So I feel very strongly for many of you that this is an absolute rebirth on their part. So now we have the energy of the Seven of Coins. Both of you are very invested. You're both being very patient. This relationship has been <clears throat> in play for some time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we have that energy of both of you are like farmers. You've invested in this temperance, reconciliation, that new beginning in love. We have that energy of Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. The Two of Coins is Capricorn energy. So your person really wants to come back into alignment in this relationship. Yep, and that is because of the Ten of Swords energy. I feel as though when both of you had a tendency to argue, it could get really dark. And let's see if I'm... Let's look at that with the um, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. What is it about that Ten of Swords energy? I also would love to have you put something in the comment section about any kind of reading that you'd like to do. I am a professional full-time reader as my career, and so I do personal readings all the time. I would love to answer any questions that you might have lingering in a general reading. But here we have it, the Shapeshifter. So the Shapeshifter energy means that sometimes both of you or your person has entered into this energy of you just feel like you don't know them, Aries. That when this Ten of Swords comes about, it's almost like, where is that person? They came out of nowhere. Why did they behave in this way? And the temptation to lash out back at them would be a very Aries tendency to not take it, you know, to just say, I'm not doing that. And the rocks energy is the energy of the masculine having been a person who has some issues from childhood that have made them struggle. You know, it's like a king gone bad using their authority or saying things that were totally inappropriate. But again, having remorse and regret at this point, feeling as though they want to fix this, heal the wound. Okay, so what do we have here for the Three of Cups and the Ace of Coins? Why are they here? You know, people can change. Redemption is possible, but they have to do it because they want to. People never respond, in my experience, unless they're motivated. And that motivation is powerful because they know. See, they want to lock you down, Aries. They want to... To capture you. The devil energy is an energy that this person wants to have you to themselves. The four of wands, marriage energy, there we go. The bridesmaids, the wedding tent, and the engagement ring. But your person is still in a toxic energy. So they still have some learning. They still have some, some journey that they have to travel. The seven of swords, they have a tendency to not be really forthcoming that can be a sneaky deep card i call it the i call it the sneaky peak card the seven of swords though says that and the heart of pentacles you may be dealing with a taurus you may be dealing with an aquarius but the four of wands is your energy aries the nine of swords your person is feeling as though they they may not get to have you that at the end of the day if they do not lock you down in marriage there we go, Hierophant. See, I'm seeing it twice now, and I get the Empress. I get the engagement. So this person is not really quite ready 
in my opinion, as I look at the cards, they're not really ready to give you what you totally need with the Ace of Cups. They are in this energy of understanding. They're coming forward. They're doing the right thing because they love you and they don't want to lose you, but they're not yet healed. But it's a start. You know, you have every journey starts with that first step. So let's see what we have here from the Seven Energies Oracle. We're going to also do a mini sidebar here on this Ace of Cups. Okay, so let's look. We have the Storyteller. Okay, so this person has a tendency to tell stories to themselves. They're not always sure of what the truth is, is what I'm seeing. And we get divine matrix so they are in a period of feeling as though they need to figure things out so let's go ahead and look at the energy here of the rocks in fact i'm going to change i'm going to use a shadow deck something that's called a shadow deck we're only looking right now at a divine masculine energy that wants to that loves you dearly that finds you intoxicatingly uh, the central point of their happiness they definitely want you and only you but we see that they still are carrying the toxic energy so let's see what we have here the nine of wands energy okay so again we've seen the nine of wands a couple of times here so they have fire in their belly for the relationship we also have them with this four of pentacles we see the four of pentacles up here we see them feeling as though they're stuck on top of the mountain and they're not quite sure what to do with the energy. Let's see what else we have. We have the star seed. Okay, we like that. The star seed is that energy of feeling like they're from another planet. You know, they and and I would say that can be metaphorical. You know, however you would like to take it. But your person does look like there's something very eccentric about them. We get the King of Pentacles energy again, Taurus energy. Tauruses tend to be very possessive. You know, that's the energy. Taurus is like, this is mine. And Taurus is still the second sign of the Zodiac, which means they're, they're just coming into mastery. We have Page of Pentacles. So we do have a child, a child with a mask, a child that's going through a transformation. So we do see your person here. Five of Cups, their sadness around a child, and that has made them behave very badly in this relationship. Now, this can be anyone. It could be, it could be anyone, but it does look like it is a family member that has caused a lot of issues in your relationship. Ace of Swords, they do have clarity at this time. What else do we have for your person? We also have the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is kind of an inner battle with themselves and with everyone else. They struggle to really keep on their feet. The hidden strength of the Shadow Cat. We have the hidden energy strength. So we do see your person has a core of strength. They have been through a lot in their lives. And let's see what else we have. Yep, the Karmic see i knew it i knew it i knew it we have the karmic indicators of a soul tribe or soul family that brought about this person's inability to really operate at the same level of skill and love as you do so let's look and see what the energy is the ace of cups spirit give us some more information about the beautiful ace of cups we have the Six of Cups reunion coming back into alignment with your relationship. We also have the Spirit of Wands, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. We have it all here. So your person is trying to match your fiery disposition, Aries. So you have a very beautiful reading. It looks like you're having a beautiful birth, rebirth, a rebeginning, a new beginning. And it's with somebody who really has had a lot of struggles in life with the way they process love, the information, but you are their happy space. They do want you. The devil card does indicate that there's still toxic energy that they need to work on, but so is life. Anyway, Aries, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Let me know where you're from. And also, again, if you would be so kind as to leave a suggestion in the comments below about something that you would like to see in a reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.